They're refusing to even acknowledge the kids' wishes in court. I heard them say it, and now I got my report, or all my court orders, everything, and they're refusing to acknowledge what the kids want. They say it's just not what's best for them. I've done nothing wrong. Well, here's the thing. You Right, this is attorney Vince Davis. This is How to Fight CPS and Win. And we're going to take another quick call here. Um, I was looking at the Facebook Live. Janelle from California. Janelle, you want to tell your story, so let's go. Uh, you said it had to be quick, though, right? <laughs> well, you know, they got commercials and everything, so. I know. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, then. Um, I call pretty much every week. Um, thank you for everything that you guys do, you and Aaron both. Um, I, I filed an intent to file a writ. I spoke with you last time about it, and my attorney that I paid for, he put in a sub of attorney, and the judge granted it finally, I guess, and then just awarded me some public, I call them public pretenders, but um, th this woman won't call me back. I have spoke to her once, and it was in the middle of my court date that I wasn't informed of. She said, well, you can call the court now, and I missed half of it. So I have no idea what was said. I insisted on getting my records sent to me, which I finally got from my old attorney, which they keep listing him in my all of the court order, all the reports, everything. But he actually was being cool and gave me what was, what I'm, what, you know, what's owed to me, right? I, I deserve my kids' record. And... I, I, I don't know what to do because it keeps listing his name. Um, this woman won't call me back. She's having this guy call me who's a parent partner kind of person that works for her office. And he's, he's an ex-drug addict. And the way he talks to me is just, you know, I, I'm just not comfortable with it considering my history with domestic violence and everything my kids went through. And... All he has to say is he won't listen to anything except, hey, do a hair follicle and you'll be fine. I'm like, that's cool. I'll do another one. I've already done a hair follicle. And the court refused to even admit it into evidence. So I, I don't know what to do. I'm coming up on losing my parental rights. And this case isn't even about me. It's not. I rescued my kids from Idaho from their abusive father. And... And my name wasn't even in the, the in none of the reports, nothing for months and months. I ended up going to jail when they got taken away because I refused. I refused to hand my kids over. Is that, I mean, what kind of a mom would when your kids have been abused for six years? I hadn't talked to them, you know? And the last thing they wanted to do was have their mother go, here, you take them then, I guess. You know better? I, How old are the kids? Um, my oldest is about to be 17. Um, my middle one, who is a diabetic, is now in a group home, even though he's the sweetest How kid old? ever. Oh, he's 13. He just turned 13, and my youngest is about to be 11. Well, you know, the good thing is, is that um, for kids 12 and older, I think that's the age, if they don't want to be adopted, you can't lose your parental rights. They're refusing to even acknowledge the kids' wishes in court. I heard them say it, and now I got my report, or all my court orders, everything, and they're refusing to acknowledge what the kids want. They say it's just not what's best for them. I've done nothing wrong. Well, here's the thing. You're going to have to get a lawyer. You're going to have to get somebody that's going to file a 388, and you're going to have to get someone that's going to subpoena the kids to court when you have your 2-6 hearing. Okay, well, I've, I've done all of the 388s. I've done a bunch. My son is my father. He's a CHP, and they're refusing to place them with him because they say, and I quote, he's protecting his daughter and will allow me to have free visits whenever I want with the kids. That's the reason they're not allowing the kids to go to him, even though he has power of attorney over me and the kids. Yeah, the power of attorney is a red herring. It doesn't mean anything. 
if okay. he's a, if he's a higher patrolman, I, I don't know why they won't give him the kids. Why would why do right. they think that he's going to give you the kids? Because well, because I lived on his property and DCFS showed up when I wasn't home, and I had my diabetic son with me. We were out shopping, and my oldest was watching my ten year old, and. DCFS showed up, and my dad's like, I literally don't have the key to the gate, first of all. He's, he's talking to them. He asked the boys to come out and see them. The boys went out and saw them. They're like, we're not leaving with you. My kids said that. We are not leaving with you. Because a social worker, the one that was there, had um, assaulted my, my son that was with me shopping. Um, she had been stripped naked in the middle of the yard. And... Um, and so my dad was just doing what the kids wanted. He's like, they don't want to go with you. I'm not going to make them go with you. They're not even my kids, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, have you guys talked about appealing your denials of I, 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 Yes. I, I actually just got, um, I was just, I uh, filed my intent to file a writ, and it was approved by the appellate court. But my date is on the 17th, and my old attorney is the one who notified me of this. this and nobody gives me any information and he finally gave me my entire file on a flash drive yesterday, and it's insane the lies that are in that thing. But um, my new court-appointed attorney, she, she won't even call me back. I have no idea. I, I, I don't know, and I'm running out of time. And I, I, I'm saving up money. I almost have enough for you, actually. So, um, Great. But, you know... Um I, 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 you know, I don't know what to say about your court appointed attorney if she's not calling you back. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, the reasons for her not calling you back could be many and varied. I just can't comment on it. Um, right. So, um, what about her? Um, she has a parent partner that works for her office, I guess, and he's the only one that calls me back, even though the one time I did speak with her, I said, I don't feel comfortable being a victim of domestic violence for over a decade. I don't feel comfortable with a man I don't know calling me who isn't a lawyer and saying just the whole weird things about, because he was a drug addict. I'm like, I don't, that's not me. I've never had a dirty drug test. I did a hair follicle. I've submitted it to the court. They refused to acknowledge it. Now he said, the only thing that's going to save you and your kids is to do another hair follicle. We'll pay for it. It's the first one we've ever paid for, but we'll do it. I'm like, good. I don't care. But why is that? Why is that so important when the other one I did while I was pregnant and on bed rest during COVID, why did that one not matter? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, there must be some issue with somebody thinking that you, you know, have used drugs or do drugs. Okay, okay. well, that, that would go with a um, statement because I was in the hospital and I was interviewed by a social worker, gosh, seven years ago mm -hmm. while I was heavily medicated by the hospital, and they came in and interviewed me, and I don't remember anything that I said, and there's all these things in this report that are just crazy talk. Yeah. I think you're going to have to, it doesn't, you know, what you're telling me doesn't seem like the court-appointed attorney is going to be able to help you for whatever reason, right. but you're going to have to, you know, if you filed a notice of intent to file writ, you're going to have to file mm -hmm. that brief very soon. Right, it's by the seventeenth. They said that um, I have to. I don't. I don't know how to do that part. I've done everything else. All the three eighty eight, the one eighty, the two ninety five, all of them. Hold on a second. You said you have to file it by the seventeenth. Yes. Okay. Well, I mean, I filed the intent to follow it, and then I've got something by the seventeenth. I have to put in, and my attorney won't even call me back. I don't know how long I have or what to do. Okay, so have you written my telephone number down? 888 888 uh, I know it by heart, actually, honey. <laughs> okay. Well, call me tomorrow. Make an appointment to talk to me on Monday or Tuesday because, well, that's going to be too late. I'm going to have to talk to you tomorrow because if you have the 15th, i got to find out what's due for you on the 15th. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, I, I wish somebody would let me know these things, but I mean, like I said, I have the retainer for you. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Well, call me tomorrow, and I'll try to give you a call back tomorrow. Um, okay, uh, thank you so much, Vince, for everything you do for all of us. All right, thank you for calling. I appreciate it. And thank you for listening. Call us back in, uh, you know, three or four weeks. Let us know what's going on with your case.